Um, some of you may notice that I've walked up here with a, a bit of a limp. Uh, after graduating from college, I continued to try my uh, playing prowess, uh, playing basketball. But uh, you know, late July, I injured myself, so now I'm uh, officially retired. I've had knee surgery and all of that. So in between knee surgery and physical therapy workouts, I asked my children. I said, you know, I have this big event coming up. What exactly should I say? And immediately, both of them said, tell them you played basketball and you're retired. <laughs> so that's what I am. I played basketball and I'm retired. <laughs> um, the other thing I'd like to mention is they had some very great photos of all of us up there. And um, very, very happy to be a part of that. Uh, sitting at my table, a couple of my former players began to mention um, but they didn't have any pictures of me passing. <laughs> I told them, <laughs> you know, I played with two very good point guards, uh, Paul Coppola who's here, and Jason Curry who passed me the ball, so I didn't have to pass the ball. So, um, anyway, I'd like to start by really saying, I'd like to uh, start by saying congratulations to my fellow Hall of Fame inductees. I'm truly excited to share this night with you. When I received the phone call from Chris Kenny, informed me that I was a member of the 2011 St. Michael's Class Hall of Fame. My response was, you're kidding. And, and that was really based on the high regard that I have for the Hall of Fame. I understand this is not an honor that is bestowed to everyone. And to be a part of it is absolutely incredible for me. So I'm very hon honored and humbled to be a part of this illustrious group. Following the phone call, I began to reflect on my journey to the Hall of Fame. As some of you may be aware, I'm an only child who grew up in a single parent household. However, my mother was diligent in her efforts to ensure that I had every opportunity to succeed. She made sure I went to Catholic school and paid for me to go to Catholic school. One point I'd like to make is that she earned her highest grossing wage was $19,000, and that wasn't achieved until I was in college. So needless to say, during my childhood years, uh, budget was very limited but she didn't show up to school. When I grew up, we lived in a four-room apartment. It was a kitchen, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a living room. My mother gave me the bedroom. She slept in the living room on the bed that pulled out the couch. Um, she made sure I had the best. At age 12, I said to her, I'd like to attend college. Her response to me was, that's great, but I hope I can afford it. My response back to her was, don't worry about it, I'll get a college basketball scholarship. Please keep in mind, I was three months removed from starting to play basketball, which included my first on-court experience of shooting the ball in the opponent's basket. <laughs> Following shooting the ball in the basket, I got so excited. Until my friend said, you know, you just scored two points for the other team. <laughs> You'll be happy to know that I bounced back and I got better over the years. <laughs> um, as many of you know, I'm originally from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So visiting Vermont, Vermont for the first time as a 17-year-old kid was somewhat nervous. I was somewhat nervous. The only thing I knew about Vermont was that it was incredibly cold. So, upon my uh, initial visit to the college, uh, I came to the college dressed in a winter coat and uh, corduroy pants. Keep in mind that it was in early May <laughs> when I arrived on campus to, meet, to have my campus tour and meet with Jerry Flanagan in the admissions office. <laughs> Jerry Flanagan and the rest of the SMC community embraced me and opened their arms and accepted me into the college. Upon enrollment at St. Michael's College, it became immediately apparent that the SMC community would have a profound impact on my life. My goal was to receive a quality education and enhance my basketball skills under the guidance of my college coaches. They allowed me to develop my skills and achieve my full potential on a college level. However, as I reflected on my college experience, I was fortunate enough to realize that the aforementioned goal, I achieved the aforementioned goals and so much more. The college professors 
provided me with an education foundation to attain my professional goals. Furthermore, the coaches shared their knowledge that assisted me to develop my basketball skills to compete on the college level and reach my potential. <coughs> Moreover, it was my personal interactions with the SMC community, the extended family of friends, teammates, faculty, and advisors that provided me with an unequivocal positive and enriching experience. My SMC connection has provided me with many of my best friends, but for some of the younger generations that are out here now in the text world, my BFF. <laughs> when I look around the room, I see former teammates, um, I see faculty advisors who've guided me down the right path. Furthermore, the SMC connection actually introduced me to my current wife, Nikia Miller. Nikia Miller Blakes. That's the hyphen. <laughs> Daryl Watkins, a former basketball player, introduced us. My wife is my BFF, my lovely wife, a wonderful mother to our children, Jalen and Michaela. I also would like to acknowledge my mother-in-law, my two sister-in-laws, my brother-in-law, my nephew, Brandon. I also would like to say hello to our friends from Jersey that arrived, Damon and Tracy, as well as their sons, Adam and Anthony. And I also would like to say thank you to my cousins who came from Washington, D.C., and my aunt who came from D.C., and my cousin who flew in from Texas. So I really appreciate you. <laughs> Moreover, this induction is an acknowledgement of the sacrifices, hard work, love, and support provided by my mother, the late Lorraine Blakes. After a long battle with breast cancer, my mother passed away. However, a week before she passed away, she looked at me and said, I'm tired. I'm not sure how much longer I'll be able to be with you. But I can go in peace knowing that you can take care of yourself. Okay. Attending SMC allowed me to achieve my, dream, my dreams, but also answer the wishes of my mother by allowing her to attend two graduation ceremonies, my graduate and undergraduate um, ceremonies. The induction into the SMC Hall of Fame is an amazing achievement and individually gratifying as a, as, a, as a culmination of the personal touches from everyone in my life. Thank you for a tremendous journey.